Performing a squat against a physio ball is one alternative to the traditional bodyweight squat exercise. What are some reasons why we'd want someone to do this form of squat? You might be thinking that it's safer on the knees, or maybe it's more appropriate for beginners. But is this true? Let's examine the biomechanics of an individual performing the traditional squat, and look at the differences between that and the ball squat. In our laboratory, we capture the motion of an exerciser's legs and the reaction forces from the ground. From these, we create a biomechanical model of the two squat techniques and analyze the relative demand on the hip and knee muscles. First, we'll look at two repetitions of the ball squat. And then, the traditional squat. One might assume that the ball squat is easier because the ball provides some support, but looks can be deceiving. Let's examine this plot of hip torque over time for the ball squat. It gives us an approximate measure of how hard the hip extensors, the glutes and the hamstrings, are working. For comparison, here is the same plot for the traditional squat in red. We can see that the ball squat in blue is three times less demanding on the glutes compared to the traditional squat. Shifting our analysis to the knee, we see that the ball squat is more demanding than the normal squat. In fact, looking at the area under the curve, instead of just the maximum, reveals that these differences are even more dramatic. During the ball squat, the quads are working harder than during the normal squat. And depending on the amount of knee flexion, this is potentially more stressful to the knee joint. To summarize, the ball squat is more demanding to the quads and also results in a significant reduction in hip extensor activity compared to the traditional squat. The potential for increased knee stress is a concern for all users and also raises questions about whether it's appropriate for beginners. There may be good reason to perform squats this way, but be aware of potential increased knee stress and limited gains in glute strength. We suggest that both forms of the squat may be valuable based on the exerciser's goals. By performing this type of analysis, we can select an exercise based on our desired training outcome rather than what is trendy at the time.